Hi there, this is Rick from My Uber Income. In this video, I will show you how to purchase a license and how to use the app. So, how to purchase a license? First, head to myuberincome.com.au, click in the app. Download the app in 32 or 64 bits, in my case it's 32 bits. Windows will show you this message, just keep the file. Now we will purchase a license. Add to the card. View. And check out with PayPal. You will receive an email with your activation code. You just click in the email and copy your activation code. Back to the app. Run the app for the first time. Insert the code and click activate. It is now ready to be used. So for this example, we'll not save, and we'll just open again. If you're already using my Uber Income spreadsheet and you want to transfer your data across, just click on Transfer Data. Select the file that has your data and click Open. All your data has been copied across. I will, now, I will now show you how to use the app. So there are five um, tabs. The information tab, logbook, income, expenses, and summary. So the information tab has important links and tutorials. At the bottom, more information. The next tab is logbook. That's where you insert your mileage. There are three types of logbook method, the full, partial, and predefined. The full method, you will need to record your mileage for every single shift during the year. It is more time consuming, but at the same time, you have more information about your driving. So you will just insert the date of your shift, what was your mileage when it started, and when it finished. You also have a field called on trip mileage. You find this information in the text in the monthly text summary in the Uber website. This will give you in the summary tab what is your dead mileage. I will show you later. The next method is the partial. So according to the ATO you need to record at least 12 weeks of your business um, mileage. You choose uh, this method if you want to proceed uh, with this option. The last uh, method is the predefined. Basically, if you already know what is your business usage, you can just enter it here. Let's say 70%. That's it. This example, we're just going to use full. The next tab is the income tab. So there are two uh, ways to record your income, your Uber income, weekly or monthly. We'll go with um, weekly first. So on the top, you still you need to insert if you have a, another job, you insert your yearly income over here. So how to use these fields? First, you need to head to the Uber um, Partner website, which you can find in the Information tab at the top. Um, select the week. 
and click in trip earnings to open the breakdown. Now you can copy this information across to the app. So in this uh, example, I will use uh, week 10 and I will just insert the information here. But first of all, I just need to make an adjustment on my Uber, Uber cut. For me, it was 20 and 22. So back to the income tab. So I had five trips and 327 um, minutes online hours. So five trips and three hours and 27 minutes equal to 3.5 online hours. The fare was 138.72. I had no cancellation. The booking fee is 2.75 has been calculated already. The next is the Uber fee, 30.52, it's matching. And I had some um, only two cents wait time. So my total payout is uh, 108 and 22 cents. That's matching. If you want to use the monthly method, Again, back to the Uber website, go to Tax Summary, select the year, and download the statement. So just for example, I'll just delete this information over here. So my gross fares for the month was 138.74. and booking fee was 2.75 so the total 141 and 49 and 32 with 50 cents was the Uber service fee we will keep using weekly in this example so the next tab is expenses of course here you will insert all expenses so first of all you need to check your Uber cut prior and after the 1st of December, that's when the chains happen. Check your booking fee and tax fee and your Medicare levy. So the first columns is your few. Here, here you will insert all your few expenses for the year. It's basically the date of the bill and the value. The next columns is car related expenses. This will be split between your business and private usage. For example, here I have car wash. Let's say it was $10. And let's say I had 50% business usage for the year. So in the end, it will be um, um, the business uh, value of the car wash was $5. You can also select if it has GST or not. So the next columns is the Uber only expenses. So this will be 100% allocated as a business expense. On my case, on my case is just a mobile bill, which has just included and is tax claimable. Also, if you have chosen the weekly income method, you also will insert a split fare uh, for the month over here. So this information you can find in the tax summary. In the monthly tax summary the last the next and last tab is the summary tab that's where all your information is compiled together so there's a lot of information here but I would like to highlight the best section that's where you will um, find uh, the, the information to uh, uh, submit your quarterly best Here you can find your average. So let's say uh, in the first quarter I did 2.22 trips per um, per hour, and um, more at the bottom I have the mileage information. For example, for the year 37% of my mileage was dead 
that was that kilometers without passenger back to the top that's your final result for the year so you can see here that my net income per hour was fifteen dollars and sixty eight cents that was my profit per hour and then it, and then I need to allocate fifty percent of my payout to pay expenses GST and tax I also need um, um, it, it's also showing that 34 percent of the fares is actually my net profit so 34 percent of what the passenger paid is actually my profit and 43 percent of what, uh, what of my payout what uber paid me every week was actually my profit here you will find the tax uh, return information if you want to submit your own tax return and here uh, you have a couple of charts, the payout and the expenses. The payout, this one, it's not including the depreciation. So from the payout, everything, uh, so the payment that Uber does every week, actually 51% is my net income. I will use 19% uh, to pay expenses, 9% to pay GST, and 21% to pay my taxes. The last chart is the expenses. So you can see that 14% of my expenses were few, 21 car related, 2% Uber only, 19% was GST, and 44% was actually the taxes. That's it for this video. Thank you for your time, and bye bye.